Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Hunza people are able to live up to 145 years old. Here's their secret. Lifestyle is the best path for increased health and longevity. There is nothing like real life indisputable proof such as that found among the Hunza tribe in the Himalayas. These people, living in an extremely secluded region of the world, practice simple lifestyle habits which allow them to enjoy excellent overall health. Hunza women can live up to 150 years, and often have the power to bear children until they are 65 years old. This is a community of 87,000 people living in the mountains of northern Pakistan. The people of the Hunza community have an average lifespan of 120 years, and in some cases they live up to 160 years. Thanks to their healthy way of life, they look young and beautiful, even in the later years of their life. The diet mostly consists of raw food, including nuts, fresh vegetables, dry vegetables, mint, fruits and seeds added with yogurt. Their lifestyle proves how adopting a healthy approach to our lives can not only make us look more youthful, but also improve our life expectancy greatly. The Hunzas claim to be the descendants of Alexander the Great. They came into being when Alexander conquered the area. They settled in the villages there, and married among themselves. What do you think? Black people are not descendants of slaves like the textbooks say they are. They are descendants of African civilizations, powerful kingdoms, and strong peoples. They are descended from kings and queens, princes and princesses, they are from the bloodline of those who developed writing, astrology and sciences. They are the fruits of a people who developed agricultural techniques and dominate alternative medicine. They are the fruits of a people who know the benefits of plants and how to get from them, the power of life. What do you think? Leonardo's Lester Codex The Lester Codex is a notebook of scientific notes, made by Leonardo da Vinci in Milan in 1506-1510. The manuscript consists of 18 sheets of paper, scribed on both sides, that make up a 72-page notebook. Leonardo's notes are written in his own mirror handwriting, which is the only way to read them. The notes focus on the various phenomena about which Leonardo pondered why the moon shines, how and why water flows in rivers, where fossils come from, what minerals are made of, and so on. The notebook also contains many mathematical calculations, diagrams, and drawings. In 1994, the Codex was put up for auction, in which it was purchased by Microsoft founder Bill Gates for $30.8 million. The Bareber Cave System in India, 200 to 300 BC. The caves are carved in nice, as hard as granite. Vaults, floors, and ceilings are polished to a shine. The acoustics and ventilation of the caves are ideal. There are reservoirs for water and hermetic closing of the doorways. There is a version that the caves were used in ancient times as a bomb shelter. The vaults are capable of withstanding a nuclear strike. Ancient skeletons with high levels of radiation are often found in the vicinity. 
Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. No famous legend is without mentioning giants. In the famous English fairy tale, Jack and the Beanpot, giants lived among the clouds. The ancient Greeks kept the sky on their shoulders and fought with the gods. Lemuel Gulliver visited North America, where giants lived, and was himself such a midget. The Japanese considered the first Europeans demonic giants, they, and Canadians and Americans have invented a fabulous hero, a giant woodcutter Paul Bunyan. How did people on different continents get similar legends about giants? It is quite possible that they are the remnants of memories of ancient civilizations. Medieval Danish historian Saxon Grammaticus, 1150-1220, suggested that giants really did exist, otherwise, how to explain the Cyclopean structures of antiquity? And the brain is so constructed that it cannot generate what it is not familiar with. People are incapable of making up a tale of non-existent phenomena without any background information. The Kvarkish Plateau is located on the border of the Perm region and the Sverdlovsk region at an altitude of more than 1,000 meters. Who expects to see the usual landscape of the mountain tundra would be pleasantly surprised by stone placers. These natural formations do not simply resemble artificially hewn stones with their smooth faces and cuts, but also bear traces of sawing. How did this stone end up in a remote and inaccessible mountainous area? If the next expert from academic history tries to explain these traces by the ancient activities of the known to science Uralic peoples, let him first repeat such a thing with primitive copper tools. Another similarity between the ancient plumbing equipment of unknown origin, a marble bathtub near the Greek theater in Alexandria, Egypt, and its counterpart in the botanical garden in St. Petersburg. They are called baths conventionally. The Russian finds are thought to be flowers in the ancient style and drinkers for horses, the European finds are baths, and in their granite copy, covered with a lid, the commander Napoleon was buried. The real purpose of these objects, as well as their origin, remains a mystery. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.